Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we are doing a coleslaw recipe. That Home, homemade. Homemade. And have been told it's restaurant quality, so. Yeah, we've we've made it. Just threw a load of different bits together and come up with it. And we got an approval from my brother-in-law that we've done before. And he said it's just like as good as um, restaurant quality. So that means a lot. Coming from him. <laughs> yeah, coming from him. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, if you're wondering why we're in the same clothes, it's actually because we've done two videos in one day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we're just going to literally oh, yeah. roll straight into this. Yeah. Don't know. Want me to have... Oh, hang on. Right. My fingers are in the right. So you need half a white cabbage, half a red cabbage. We've got two white onions cut in half, two red onions, four carrots, half a lemon, and salt and pepper. So, now I'm not going to chop my fingers off. So literally, I'm just going to cut out this, the root. Don't want to eat that bit. And do the same on this one. Now this does make quite a lot, and the good thing with this is you can freeze it. Yes. So you can make it in advance, make yep. a load, freeze it. Not yes. fresh, well it's still fresh, but... Yeah, it'll still be fresh. Obviously you let it defrost properly. Um, so you're just literally slicing this up into thin, the finish you can do. We're about obviously chopping things off. Yeah. I mean, I have got a mandolin, but... Yeah, but that thing's dangerous. <laughs> I want my fingers left where they are. Knowing how to use it. I've yeah, got a if, gold. If you know how to use one, then use it, but... You know, I like to just flip it over when you get to the end. That doesn't matter if you've got bigger chunks in there, because... It is actually quite nice to have a little bit of need a big bowl now. Yeah. So there you go. So it's fine-ish. Fine-ish. But also that's why you was born with teeth. You wasn't born with teeth. Well you know you grow up with teeth, you know what I mean. You grow teeth. <laughs> that you uh Chop it up with your teeth, basically. And then we're going to do the same with the cabbage. The white and the red. Yeah. Exactly the same. I always think, find the white cabbage slices better than the red cabbage. Ooh. You can get it a lot more finer. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. What I like to do is get to this bit and chop this in half. And go, I like to change the angles. Without chopping the fingers off. Now like I say, you can see already, this makes a hell of a lot. Yeah, you could just do half. Quarter this is half. Well, Qu half qu of this. Quarter, you mean? Uh, yeah, quarter of what we're doing now. Yeah. Like, I know it's half a cabbage and half of that, but you could do. The yeah, rest. you could do. You could do quarter. Um, if you don't want, obviously, like this. And um, then you just half. What we've got here, so you don't even need to do carrots. And... But then I'm actually obviously gonna freeze this as well. So, so yeah, there you go. There's your cabbage in there. Now we're gonna chop our onions again. Try and do it as fine as you can. And 
put that straight in. I'll show you a white one. Do you know what? I'm in as well. And then I'll do the rest off camera because I don't really want to bore you chopping onions. So it's just roughly chopping them basically. So you do that okay. with a mold. And then the same with your carrots. Now I just chop the end off. Give it a quick. That's got a yeah. mark on it. I mean, you could leave them on if you get. Yeah, you can. Um, don't have to peel the skin really. But, just give it a wash. Like that, and then you're going to grate it. Just going to get yourself like a box grater or a normal grater. Try not to take fingers off on the grater. Yeah. <laughs> Does take a bit of time, this. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of elbow grease. We're trying to work against time because mum. Mum's actually got to go out very soon. <laughs> so. so what I do is leave that bit on the floor. <laughs> it's falling on the floor. But you get the idea. And then I grate that. Throw it all in there when it's done. And then mix it all up. So. I'm going to crack on and do this. So I don't bore you. And my mum's got to go get ready. Um, I'll bring you back in a bit. Bye for now. Bye for now. Right guys, so we're back. So, I've managed to chop the rest of the onions and we've got, I thought I'd do the last carrot on camera for you. So we've got a quarter of a white onion left and a red onion. So like I said, just in case obviously you didn't see it all, you're just going to grate the onion, um, onion, your carrot. It's always better to have grated carrot in a, a cold slaw. Obviously, when it gets to the lowest bit, just discard of it. Don't want to end up grating your fingers into it. Alright, so I uh, just discarded that straight into there. None of this leftover scraps go to waste. That actually goes in my home compost bin. So we just scrape that into there, put that straight into the wash. Put the carrot in there. Lovely. Same with the leftover onion, discard the root. Also, when you're chopping onions, leave the root on. Don't normally chop it off until the last minute because um, that is why your eyes water so much. Because people chop the root off. Here we go, just break that up like so and put that straight into there. And just give this a little bit of a mix. And I'm going to show you something in a minute. Now you can see how much just this has made half. So obviously you'd make half the size of this if you was just, just doing it for yourself or a little party. Because um, this does make a lot. So like you could, you just literally use half a um, quarter of a red cabbage and quarter of a white one 
Um, literally one onion and two carrots if you wanted to make a smaller portion. Because, I'm just going to wash my hands. Combust. Right, so there's one and there's two. That's how much that's how much it makes. That is a lot. So I'll keep some out. I'll also give some to my family if they want it. Um and yeah, I will freeze some. So what we're going to do is, pardon me, we're going to get our lemon. Now these are big ones, they're Spanish. Um, also you just use whatever lemons you can get hold of. And yeah, just I normally put my hand here, just so if any pips fall, they fall in my hand and you've not got to search for them. And just make a little hole through it so in your hand, move one of your fingers just so... It goes now this half a lemon will do to both of them um, you don't need a whole one because these are Spanish so they're bigger um, if you've just got normal smaller ones then you might obviously want to use a whole lemon and that's it see gets the pips in there In there. Right, and then again, just give it a mix in. Also, what this does is the lemon actually helps it and stops it going brown. Obviously, from the air getting to it. You can freeze this as well, guys, like we said. Um, obviously, without any dressing, so you literally just freeze it like that. I've already got some in the freezer as well. But yeah, there you go. Just going to give it a bit of salt and pepper. Just because it adds a nice little bit of flavour to it. As well. Very lemony. just using pink Himalayan salt you can just use normal table salt it doesn't matter use what you have just going to go with a couple of grinds around it just because obviously then you're going to mix it all in in both of them There's about 10 grinds of each, and then another mix. And that is your homemade cold slaw done. One, and this one, give it a mix. Obviously, if you've got a bigger bowl, then you can do it together. But I don't think you're going to have a bigger bowl than these. So it does make a lot. There you go. Delish. Well, I'm just going to tidy up and I'll bring you back. So we're back. There we go. <clears throat> there he is. Your homemade coleslaw. Um, yeah, like I say, if you want, just use literally quarter of it because obviously it does make a lot. Um, but yeah, and that will all just go into my compost bin, all the scraps. Um, so yeah, let's turn you guys around. 
get you guys off the tripod. Um, obviously, mum's gone now, so you won't see her in the rest of the video. Um, we're near at the end. Um, so, yeah. So, give it a go. Let us know what you think in the comments. It is absolutely nice. I'm going to have some of this with my dinner tonight. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, also, I know I did put up before about saying, oh, who would like... Um, so just discard them and chewing them. Um, who would like to see like gardening stuff? Um, some of you said, yeah, you would like that. Um, I am in the process of trying to come up with a name to start a new channel for gardening. So we can grow the stuff and use it in the cooking videos as well. But also I want to combine, um, not this channel, but the new channel that I set up between gardening and foraging because I love to forage I've been doing it for the last oh wow the last five years um it'll be six years this year that I've been doing foraging um two and a half years foraging for mushrooms um all self-taught and obviously going through books and other people that I follow as well that do it um so yeah I'm also trying to find a name um, to come up with to combine foraging and the garden, gardening. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas of names, um, drop them in the comments, let us know. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. Thank you to all the old subscribers and the new subscribers. We really appreciate you. Um, for keep sticking by us and watching our videos um, even when we're not posting oh God, um, even when we're not posting and we're like taking a while because obviously we're trying to come up with our own recipes and changing the way our lifestyles are between obviously eating healthy gluten um, diabetic recipes as well um, so yeah but I'm not going to rabble on too much. Also, I want to say, because my mum did say that I think you'll be sitting out there in a few months or so. But no, that is not the case. In a, in roughly, probably about a few months, maybe a year, we're actually planning on moving the kitchen that we're in now. Because obviously it is really, there's, I'm not going to show around there because there's rubbish everywhere at the minute that we're trying to sort out. Um, our plan is to move the kitchen from here out into our dining room. Um, so yeah, hence why we're busy and we haven't been posting as well um, because we're trying to do a lot of home stuff. Um, but yeah, so give this recipe a go. It is, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Give it a go. Give it a thumbs up. Please follow, subscribe. You know it. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.